the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. So, you know, sometimes you watch somebody screw something up so insanely bad, like so insanely bad, that, that, that you just want, how? How did that ever happen? Afghanistan, right? The US uh, withdrawal from Afghanistan. And, and they're the same people getting ready to go to war in Ukraine? Really? That seems to be something you want to think twice about, really? Like, like you know, uh, 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 yeah, Chris General, maybe, maybe you don't want to go, and go off and make Blake 7 now. Maybe, maybe that's not for you, okay? But yeah, that's, what I'm, that, that's basically what I'm saying. But sometimes you see people screw up so insanely bad, you go, how did it happen, right? How, just how, like, how are you so stupid on every every possible level? What were you thinking? Just what were you thinking? Uh, um, so fortunately this month, courtesy of the good people of Doctor Who magazine, we're going to find out, right? We are going to find out. Uh, this one's Doctor Who magazine is out there. I'm recording this on Thursday. This is probably going out on Friday or Saturday. A good issue, by the way. Go check out my review when it, I think it's coming. Again, that's coming out Friday or Saturday as well. Uh, uh, amazingly, listen, even the stock clock tells the right time twice a day, uh, uh, unless it's a digital clock. <laughs> then I guess it doesn't. Uh, uh, but there's a bit of gold in this issue, a bit of absolute gold in here for us. Uh, Matt Stevens. Matt Stevens, the executive producer of the current era of Doctor Who on Phasmin. Oh, yeah. I want to hear you talk about that. Ratings. Oh, how's that going, mate? How's that going? Not so good. And saying goodbye. Na, 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. I am very happy you're saying goodbye because you have been unbelievably awful in your job. Unbelievably awful. Now, I, I normally skip around in these uh, uh, these interviews when, 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 I, when I read them yeah, and go, go over them. Uh, uh, this one I'm not. It's all. It's it, every bit of it is gold. Every bit of it is gold. I do recommend uh, buying the magazine to, to, to for yourself because you know uh, it's it's a thing to behold. Before we get into it, before we get into it, can you hit that one second? One second. Let me just show the picture. Why look so proud of yourself? Right? Like, honestly, I don't understand how in any way you look so insanely proud of yourself, but you do. And it's strange. And it's very, very strange. But okay, but you do. Uh, um, okay, fine. Uh, like, share, subscribe, su su uh, subscribe, please. That'll be fan dabby, double dozy. That'll be just fantastic. Thank you very much. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Comment, comment is freaking awesome. I like a bit of comments. Uh, uh, the YouTube algorithm likes comments as well. If you're on Rumble, hit the Rumble button. If you're subscribed, make sure you're still subscribing. If you're not subscribed, if you can consider doing that, Thank you very much. I'm very, very grateful for you doing that. Uh, and also go check out my Substack. Substack is an email newsletter. I put lots of information out on that. Well, you know, my content, comic books, all kinds of stuff. There's a page on as well. Thank you very much if you uh, uh, sign up for that. Fine. Let's read, let's read this article. And I'm still, I'm a, like, okay. Okay. Let's, let's see how this, what, what went down. Journey's End. Uh, uh, well, that could be what Doctor Who was. I mean, what would a world be like if Russell Lee Davis didn't step in? That's they're doing this Unbound thing at Big Finish, uh, which Unbound quite quite like. But they the 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 premise is: what if we uh, uh, change the absolute best moment in Doctor Who? The absolute best moment in the entirety of Doctor Who was, in my mind, Tom Baker's Doctor choosing not to blow up the Daleks, saying, "Do I have the right?" That bit, and say, "Well, what if we made him like Jodie's Doctor?" <laughs> And be like, eh, eh, keep up. Oh, I got rid of them. Oh, I'm the best is ever. Look at me. Eh. Uh, uh, what if that was the case? <laughs> I'm like, I, I, I don't know why you would do that, but okay. Um, Matt Stevens has now stepped down. Stepped down uh, right after uh, everybody else was booted out the building for uh, a stunning and brave success <laughs> as executive producer. In the first installment of a two part interview, Paul Curley, re he reflects on some of the extraordinary adventures, like absolutely destroying a beloved national institution. Oh, we, yeah, that was an extraordinary uh, adventure when we destroyed Doctor Who systematically over a period of a few years. Yeah, that, that worked out well. Uh, three days before Christmas, Matt Stevens took a farewell tour of the Doctor Who studios in Cardiff. Hey, look at everything I destroyed. I'm so proud of myself. Hey, look at everything I destroyed. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I did a little walk around that sound They did on my own. The TARDIS had gone. Out. <laughs> Why? Because we did the name. That wonderful TARDIS, right? That everybody hated. The TARDIS had gone. Our big stage was empty. There was no one around. It was really weird. You know what was really weird? 
that, that time that Doctor Who, uh, uh, you know, spoke to his companion or her companion and said, uh, uh, he said, please, Doctor, can you help me? I'm feeling a bit scared. Can you help me lift, lift me up? And she said, eee, no, I don't know how to do with that. I'm absolutely bollocked me. Uh, or, or whatever he said. Um, it's uh, it's like going around. It's, it's like going and snitching off the lights for the last time. And it felt like a bit like Eric Wilkin walking across the back of the stage in the raincoat to carry a bag. Um, well, that's uh, uh, and a couple of days later, Matt Smith signed off Doctor Who producer on media uh, with a message on Twitter. I remember this. Well, that's it. End of an era. End of a job. Goodbye, Doctor Who. Goodbye, Cardiff. It was fun. Not for us. It wasn't. Also, it was not fun at all. Uh, I'm still around, he explains. Uh, um, I'll probably ba uh, pop back in a bit in post-production, but, uh, uh, but all the special letters of the Sea Devils and the BB Centennial are now locked and by large, uh, uh, and by large, I've left now. Man, you, I don't know why you would associate your name with this failed era, Doctor Who. Um, five and a half years of being uh, 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 Chris Chibnall's wingman, really, that's... That's like I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spread around too much, mate. I feel well pried and the sense of achievement, uh, to have seen an era, uh, uh, to have seen an era and a doctor through. You, you saw, you saw the, the, the show, the incredibly popular show Doctor Who through. Um, it goes from Jodie's, uh, uh, filming Jodie's reveal to the moment she pulled back the hood from being uh, with her on set when she said her final line, Eek, you thump, I feel like I might die. <laughs> I don't know that. Um, it was all very, very moving. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. I'm glad you were good. Did you notice the audience uh, 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 pouring gasoline over themselves and, and lighting matches? Did, you, did, that, did that pop up in your, in your notes? No, no, not then. Pop up in your market research. Didn't think so. Um... But if you can, uh, he's asking if, 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 if he was surprised. Honestly, you can never prepare for Doctor Who. Well, you should have given it a try, idiot. You should have given it a bit of a try. For many reasons, it's very hard so to make. I can tell by the way you screwed it up. It's very hard so to make. I don't want to labour that point. I don't, I, I don't want to labour that point, but it's incredibly ambitious. Yeah, and you failed. Okay, you failed in every way. Um... Uh, and you're making it on a TV schedule and a budget that uh, uh, isn't uh, prolific in any way. I'm, what, what's he trying to say? I have no idea. Uh, listen, listen, mate. Rusty Davis made 13 episodes a year, plus Torchwood, plus Sarah Jane Adventures. Uh, very difficult, mate. Mate, for talentless morons, maybe, right? People with talent who care about the job. I think I think they're, they're prepared to do something that's a little bit difficult. Um uh, we have to punch above our weight, and you fail uh, among brands and shows and streamers and things that have huge budgets. Not the budget, mate. It's not the budget. It's the awful scripts uh, which you are responsible for. I'm sorry. Uh, and the suited schedule and series of season specials, we shot pretty much a full year. It was a massive suit. Oh, it was so big. It was so big. All through COVID. Oh, I know. I... By the way, John Hopkins just released a study saying the effect that lockdowns had on uh, stopping the transmission of COVID was 0.2%. Zero. That, that, that sounds like a bigger failure than Christian or Doctor Who. They did say, however, right? The thing that, that, the thing that stopped the, the spread of COVID most was the closing of non-essential shops, right? That's interesting. Um, that's that slowed about by about 10.4%, I think. Um, okay, coming as executive Peter, I had no idea the amount of new things I had to learn, which you didn't, right? Which you didn't. Um, yeah, it's, it's been a roller coaster. My job has been, uh, my job isn't day to day floor stuff. You become brand manager too. You've done such a shit job then. Oh my god, will you stop pointing to all your failures going, hey, did they do a good job? No, no, you no. I want to roll up this magazine. It, knock you on the, on the nose and no no you've done a very bad job a very very bad job um fine uh, did, 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 uh brand manager where was it um well brand manager there's a lot of administration uh there's a relationship with global broadcasters listen to what they need not to make unwashable shit i think is probably their number one thing um 
and how we pitch ourselves to our audience. Hi, we've got a boring preach fest. Would you like to have somebody to wag it? Would you like a Karen to wag a finger at you? Oh, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, there's a lot of parts of Doctor Who that are huge and global, which he destroyed all of them. As we speak, the internet is a buzz over the 2022 New Year's Day special, even the darkest, lowest rated ever. Not lowest rated special, lowest rated bloody episode. You losers. Uh, in fact, one second. Let's just... It's it got less than I thought it did. Wait, wait, wait. I just want to go back to this for a second. Uh, not going back. But I'm going back to an earlier page where they tried to... Yeah, this is it. Public image, the 2021 ratings. So apparently... The overnight, people who watched it live, just two million. Just two million. That, wait, wait, wait. What did Battlefield... Here, one second. Let's look up Doctor Who Battlefield. Doctor Who Battlefield. All right, one second. And we'll see the ratings on that. Because that, this is... The, episode one was the lowest rated episode. And I'm comparing overnight to overnight. Screw you. Right? Who watches it live to who watches it live? Oh my god! 3.1! Wait, wait, let's go back to that for a second. So it got 3.2 on the overnight, but watching it live, just 2 million. <laughs> well, they kept that quiet, didn't they? Wow! Wow. Okay, so the overnight was 3.21, I believe, right? But the live, people who watched it live, which is what the what the 3.1 uh, rating for Battlefield was, <laughs> was the live rating. Holy shit. It's even worse than we thought. That's pretty bad. It, you, you, know, you know that time you did the worst rated Doctor Who ever that should have been hugely rated? You know, remember that time? Uh, it's actually worse than that. So, yeah, we. But I think we're more abuzz with it now. I'm so stunning and brave. I did such a good job. No, you didn't. Um, oh, look at that. Bandit girl doing actoring. Oh, look at me. I'm acting. I'm so good. Black was a bit of a gamble, really. <laughs> Really? I, making any more Christian or Doctor Who was a bit of a gamble, wasn't it? A gamble that said that we didn't look like it's going to pay off, and it did. Well, it paid off for me. I mean, for you guys, you got got a bit of egg on your face, haven't you? Uh, that was a bit of a gamble, uh, 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 Matt. There was, a, uh, there was a bit of necessity as we had to stop to it because COVID. <laughs> oh, so scary, COVID. Uh, and we, by the way... Has Omnicron gone through England yet? Like, it's basically it's gone through my neighborhood. It, it, I didn't get it, but um, a bunch of people got it. Is that like the end of Corona now? Is that, I mean, that seems to be everyone's like saying bollocks and not. I mean, there's literally a uh, a, a workers' rebellion going on with the truckers in uh, 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 in Canada. Um, but it seems to have been very well with the No, it wasn't. Oh my god, you lying piece of crap. Very well received. No, they liked it at first. It looked pretty, right? But it was. But at the end, every review was that didn't make sense, and it was garbage. Like very well received. Oh my god! It's like again, again, new from the people who bought you the American withdrawal from Afghanistan. Very well received. Um, it seems the uh, audience really love going back to. Uh, what was in a, uh, a way a more traditional classic form of Doctor Who storytelling? Now, I'll I'll be fair with you. I, I always like to be fair. It's the uh, uh, I think this was the best they've done, and I think that kind of storytelling works best with Chris Chibnall because he can set things up without having to wrap them up, uh, uh, as we saw, right? As we saw. Um, but yeah, you still got Jodie Whittaker, who's just an awful, awful in the role. Um, even pre COVID, the plan was saying a little, something a bit different with the, in the third series. Now, you know, they could do something, he'd he, say, interesting at this point and release a book of what was the original plan, right? That, that, I would actually be interested in that, right? Or they could do it, that, yes, they could actually do something interesting at that point. Uh, but no. I think Theory Tale was the progressive in Series 11. Yeah, Series 11 was uh, uh, universally hated, right? Everybody, like, where are the monsters? What's the guy with the teeth in the face? Why is it so boring, right? Oh, God, you So, like, oh, next season, yeah, 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 yeah. Season 11, uh, season 12, uh, uh, let's put monsters all the way through it, and people are going to love it. It'll be the best. Oh, no, no, you hated it. Yeah, so it, it, it certainly the ratings progressed, didn't it? They progressed down. <laughs> far, far down. 
Um, uh, we wanted to set out our store in season 11 and uh, so and the year was about. Yeah, a fa that was about failure, wasn't it? About absolute failure. We didn't want to rely on some old tropes and monsters, you know, the things that people liked about Doctor Who, those things, those silly things. Uh, we wanted to do our own thing and look to our own Doctor. How'd that go for you, mate? How'd that go for you? Right? Uh, least popular Doctor ever. Two million live! Two million! Oh, my God! Hot, like, was it under 50% less than Battlefield, right? Battlefield, what? oh, my God. Lowest rated Doctor ever. I think that is the uh, um, uh, the headline. The headline for, uh, 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 for this... Um, uh, uh, for this year, for, for this story, I mean, I'm I'm blown away. I I've got to I've got to make that the headline in my my live stream I'm doing. I'm I'm recording this on Thursday. It's probably going out Thursday, Friday, uh, Friday or Saturday. Uh, I got to make that the headline. The <laughs> Doctor Who magazine confirms the only era lowest rated ever. Um, oh my god, <laughs> by a massive margin. Um. When uh, when we came back, when we came back, we wanted to be, the show to be more exterior. We wanted to do more locations. Uh, that's why we want. Yeah, everything's about the exterior. Everything's about the exterior. Everything's about the external look of it. Nothing is about any thought that went in, inside to making because no thought went into making this nonsense. Yeah, I feel a bit filthy, awkward. Uh, that's why we went to South Africa. By the way, that was a good idea, right? That finding ways to new new ways to make Doctor Who to make it look different. Uh, 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 is a great. Idea. By the way, if, if look, if you want to make the best place to make Doctor Who, make it look international, film it in Israel. Like, okay, this blows my mind. This always blows my mind. We are a tiny country. Like we fit into England like twelve times over. Absolute tiny country. Every terrain uh, uh, in in known to man is in Israel. It's like the Genesis planet from Star Trek 3. You get, like, up north, you get... And it's, this is all the way there, six-hour drive of everywhere. You have snow uh, and skiing, you know, in, in, in the north of Oman. You've got deserts, obviously. You've got, like... Most of Israel is, like, south of France, like, lush countryside. It's like, that's a lot of it. You've got ancient buildings. You've got, uh, you've got ruins, as I said. You've got... And you've got modern cities, right? Pretty much any... You can, you can make any environment you want. If you if you make, if you built your your studio in Israel, right? Uh, uh, it's just, <laughs> I like my country, baby. What do you want? What, what do you want me to tell you? But moving to South Africa, good. It was a good idea. I will say that's a good idea. They changed it. Look, good idea. Um, it wanted to be more filmic. That's why we bought the am uh, anamorphic lenses. I bet that they bought in anamorphic lenses. Um, it was all about making a more cinematic experience. But what? But what's the point when there's no substance to it? And your substance was utter. Utter rotten garbage, right? And in the second theory, Chris wanted to delve more into the story of the Doctor and an element of theorization which we had in the spiteful timeless child stories uh, with the master. Yeah, and it was shit. Man, it was shit. So then they talk about uh, getting 10.96 million for uh, the woman of false worth. Now you're down to two, okay? You've lost uh, 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 eight, over 80%. Oh my God! Uh, over eighty percent of the audience. Yeah, that's not good. Uh, so, so uh, uh, do Matt consider the five to five and a half million uh, viewers a good result? <laughs> well, yes, they do because they are never, ever, 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 ever going to admit they got anything wrong. It's never going to happen, right? Never going to happen. I think they're happy. He knows that's what that's what they said when they fired me. They they said, oh, we're very happy with you. You're fired. Get out. Um, yeah, of course you get the the odd juggernaut like Twenty One Vigil. What you mean? That was just a good story that people enjoyed. Uh, uh, but last in last five odd minutes is really healthy for any drama on Terrestrial. Uh, I'll assume so. They okay do evil figures like that. Yeah, okay, mate, shut up. Uh, uh, but uh, you, the reason they can only dream of figures like that is because everything on on uh, uh, streaming is utter garbage. Oh my god! I mean, I I got through the first ten minutes of Hawkeye, and that was supposed to be quite good. I, uh, 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 Winter Soldier, and uh, you've just alienated everyone. Same reason nobody watched your bollocks is the same reason nobody watched any any of these streaming giants, because it's all, all bollocks, mate. So I think that's really respectable. Yes, if we ignore the 50% of the audience we alienated, we're doing great. 
Uh, for me, what's sometimes frustrating, uh, it's I think a too strong a word, uh, but when overnight figures are reported and compared to previous consolidated figures, we're not comparing the consolidated, you asshole. okay? Two million for, uh, for Evil the Daleks, the heavily, heavily promoted Evil the Daleks, right? Two million uh, uh, who watched it live compared to uh, 3.1 million for the despised uh, battlefield that was uh, scheduled against uh, Coronation Street in the middle of the bloody week with no fanfare whatsoever, right? Uh, uh, that is such a lie, right? Such a lie. I, I, I do a lot of rating videos. I compare apples to apples, mate, and, and your apples suck, if I may say so. Uh, in order to... Uh, May, uh, uh, make a dramatic headache. That's a bit disingenuous. Again, ignoring the 50%, 50% of the audience that you've lost, even with your bullshit figures, right? Sounds more like 80% to me. Um, it, uh, yeah, 80%, <laughs> more than 80%. Uh, it's a bit disingenuous, especially when you look at the way television is consumed today. Yes, yeah, people will go, I don't like shit. I don't want to eat your shit. So I, uh, I, 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 don't, I don't watch it. Uh, uh, that's the way it's always been consumed, mate. People don't like eating your shit. Uh, don't do it about I bet the audience still, uh, still watch it uh, when, uh, where, whenever and where they choose. They just don't. They don't. They just don't choose to. In fact, the bump you get from uh, uh, the seven-day rate ratings is basically non-existent. Uh, is what under a million is is pathetic. It's utterly pathetic. Um, uh, uh, given the broadcasting regulation of Ofcom's recent warning, BBC is risking a lost generation of viewers. It's a lost nation of viewers. Lost generation is a lost... We, why do you think people were dancing in the streets and the BBC was talking about being defunded, right? It's because you've taken everything people enjoyed. Everything, any, anything people enjoyed to have... They wanted to take a break. They want to watch Top Gear. They want to watch... But they want to do anything. They don't want to be lectured to by overeducated morons. Which is what these people are. Um, if they don't actually engage with uh, uh, who don't actually engage with traditional linear television, the reason they don't actually engage with it is because it's shit. That's why. It, weirdly enough, weirdly enough, this is exactly what people like me have been saying, telling you was going to happen for years, and now it's happened. You go, go, no, no, it's all because of YouTube. And people lying. Oh, icky wicky lie. Tell you what, mate. You come on my channel. You come on my channel and, and we will take a genuine look at your figures. And you can tell me how, how you haven't screwed up. Right? That'd be great. Um, Dr. Target must be a front line in a new ratings battle. Uh, I think they really are. Uh, I think they really are. Uh, when you make a program, you make the best show you can make. Yes, you do. You do. And you, you're just not very good. Right, you made a shit show. You took something really, really good and you made it really, really bad. Uh, uh, you haven't done a good job, mate. Uh, so I think you did your best uh, and you follow your instincts. Never do that, okay? Matt, Chris, Jody, whatever your instincts are about anything, anything, just say no. Just do the opposite. Do you remember there was a Seinfeld once where, where George Costanza uh, uh, decides everything he does is wrong and he's just going to do the opposite, right? He's going to do the opposite of whatever he thinks. So uh, uh, a woman comes up to him and says, uh, hi, what's your name? He says, my name's George. I'm unemployed and I live with my parents, right? He was going to lie. And she's like, oh, hello. <laughs> do the opposite. Whatever your instinct is. Do the opposite, right? I'm gonna play the. I'm gonna play the doctor like a clueless. Eh, eh, sorry, I've got my the, uh, uh, the, the voice on. Eh, I'm gonna play the doctor like an idiot cloud. No, do the opposite, right? Do the opposite. Uh, eh, I'm gonna play the doctor like a smart, uh, smart, clever person. I, I don't think I can do that. I'm gonna do my best. I know that. I know you can't really do a play uh, an intelligent person. Um, <laughs> Well, you make you make, you make, you make, uh, you make the show that you want to watch. Yeah, you make exactly. You made it for your guardian region, reader, idiot friends, the Twitterati. Nobody else wants to watch it, and the ones you're doing now are the best you've ever done, and and the least people want to watch it. Two million, two million people tuned in. God, you should be ashamed. Oh. Uh. Uh, but you want to make the widest audience possible, and you're always uh, uh, wanting to make sure you engage with uh, engage with all the demographics. Uh, really, 
So how's that going for you? Have you managed to engage with the demographics? I'm going to say it. That's a big no. OK, you, you engage with the Twitterati demographics, right? The, the demographics of the uh, idiots that live on Twitter uh, and uh, scream and scream and scream about idiot things that nobody really cares about or believes in, right? Uh, uh, you certainly, yeah, yeah, those are the people that, uh, that you care about because you're one of those people because you're an idiot, right? How much of an idiot are you? Let's, let's just have a look over here. Uh, uh, you know, far bit from me to bring in facts and figures. Uh, this is your, uh, the consolidated, the, the, using the consolidated rating for everything. How's that going, right? How's that going? Uh, I really, from 10.96 to 4.4. It is 4.4, isn't it? Uh, yeah, 4.4. And that's your consolidated figure. God. Double what, what I mean, like, unbelievable. Unbe yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's the react. This is the real data, right? Honestly uh, 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 produced. Not not really good. So, um, and you, you're nationally reviled, right? Much like the BBC, you're nationally reviled. Um, especially the younger demographic. You don't want to watch television the way uh, we watch it. That's the Italians for all TV. No, the challenge, all you got to do is make it watchable. That's it. Then people will go and watch it there. That's all you've got to do. Make good stories. That's it. Which means having intelligence, which means having good writers, which means not being consumed constantly with politics, with, with, with ideology, with skin colour. For God's sake, you freaking racist. I mean, that's really the bottom line. These people, these Twitter out there, just freaking racist and bigots, right? And they only ever see people as their skin colour. Absolutely disgusting. Um, and then they call you, and uh, then they call you a racist for not joining their racism. Uh, the, but I don't know if you uh, bring all that into the writers' room. You, that's the place where it starts, right? Uh, the conversation is uh, sort of about uh, the conversations about the sort of stories you want to tell because that's self-defeating. Now, how about just how about telling stories that aren't platforms, right? Because people aren't interested in your idiot disproven worldview, right? Again, you said the country will be in flames now with Bre Brexit. Seems to be doing okay, right? You said the, uh, 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 you know, the adults are back in the room when, when Biden came in. Seems like the world's in flames, okay? So everything you said has been wrong. That's got to matter at some point. You know, at some, at that point is maybe not the time to like, just like relentlessly go, no, no, we're right. We're right about everything, 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 everything. We're still right. I mean, you still got to tell you. We got, oh, you can wreck planets so you can save them. Yeah. Um, by, uh, uh, so now they're talking about the bullcrap of the ratings and how they spin. They're, they're talking about their chart position rather than their rating. Yeah, we ignored all the people that we, that we, that won't watch it anymore. And we're doing quite good. I mean, not really. We're number 17. We were number three. But now we're number 17. But never mind. Not bad for a 16-year-old TV property, let alone a 58-year-old one. You got lower, you got the lowest ratings in 58 years. Okay? The absolute lowest ratings. Um... Uh, with a doctor viewing a test over, unlike many others, and that's fine because they think it's a testament to the fact people are still always keen to read about Doctor Who. So that's a positive thing. It's a good. It's a good way that you can put your messages. Uh, what's this? Okay, let's. Uh, 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 you know what? I'm not going to read this. Okay, if you want, if you want to hear the Jody was phenomenal rant from uh, 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 Matt Stevens, you go and check out my live stream from Thursday. That I'm saving for 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 uh, the live stream. Uh, that's the ratings article. <laughs> uh, Chris Matt and team have pushed Doctor Who's boundaries by widening the story pool to include previously marginalized voices. Really? Really? Uh, again, again, uh, uh, what is the uh, uh, barrier to entry to somebody, a black person writing for TV? Right? I, I mean, like, what's the barrier to entry for that? It seems to be, it'll be people like Matt Strevens, if, any, if anybody else. What's the barrier to entry for women writing for TV? I don't think there is one, right? And if you want to say Wendy Craig had to use a uh, pseudonym in the 70s, that was 50 years ago, you freaking morons! Which is, funnily enough, the same way they tried to defend the BBC when they uh, said they were going to get rid of the license fee by 2027. They said they willed out adverts with John Cleese from the 90s saying how great the BBC was. Had good luck trying to get John Cleese to say that today. Um... 
So yeah, marginalized voices like Mary Seacole, uh, nor Eniac Khan and Rosa Parks, right? Going okay, right back to the beginning, Malcolm Polo, the Doctor has always gone uh, into uh, Earth history and always highlighted people who made fundamental difference change in their life. I mean, listen, turns out Mary Seacole was not the person that you portrayed her to be, from what, from what I heard. Um, for us, in just a case of looking at stories that people that uh, uh, that maybe the show hadn't focused on before, uh, and we felt we could do it in a very Doctor way. You did it in such a shit way. I mean, listen, the the Rosa Parks one was really bad, right? You 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 had you it shows you your lack of understanding of the actual is, issue of racism. In that your villain was this racist baddie who just didn't didn't from the fiftieth century. Who just didn't like black people? Why? I don't know. I don't know why he didn't like black people. He didn't like black people. Like I can tell you why. You know, the uh, leader of the naughty National Socialists uh, uh, from Germany didn't like uh, from in the 1930s. Didn't like Jews. Uh, he wrote it in a book. It was really quite. It, nothing about that was was hidden, right? You know, that's very. It was very. It was very obvious. And so, why? Why was this guy? Why did? Why was he upset? Second question is. Uh, uh, if Rosa Parks uh, didn't refuse to move on the bus, you're saying no civil rights movement would ever have happened, right? You're saying it would never, ever, ever, ever have gone down, right? Never have gone down, and uh, uh, black people would still um, uh, not be in slavery, but uh, 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 have let be segregated, right? They say thirty centuries later, it's so stupid; it's beyond belief. How did that get part? I mean, like, again, well, that shows you your idiocy about racism. Because you know why you don't understand racism? Because it doesn't really exist, except in people uh, 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 like you, Mr. Stevens, right? Who think black people, oh, they, 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 they can't look after themselves. Oh, they need us white people to help them out. God, it's, it's so disgusting. And, like, it really makes my blood boil. Um, oop, come back here. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, for, uh, I think Sydney Newman set up Doctor Who to be very, very rioting. What's rioting mean? Uh, but uh, and I think that's the way. Uh, we're, that's what we're trying to do with Rosa and Dean of the Punjab and Mary Seacole. You just did it badly, right? And nobody, I don't trust you on anything because you're relentless lecturing, which I know is absolute nonsense, right? You're relentless lecturing that trans people. Uh, uh, you know, are are a malign force that will all kill themselves if we don't all agree that vaginas can be masculine and penises can be feminine, right? Uh, uh, what about the science? Oh, no, forget that. Uh, they were political as such. Everything is political, okay? E everything is political with uh, a small p. What are you? Are you high? God, and if you're high, I want to smoke whatever you're smoking. You are out your... Freaking box, mate. What? Uh, of course, they were first and foremost stories about amazing people. No, they weren't. They, they were not about people at all. These weren't characters, right? They had no, like, three-dimensionality about them. These, these, weren't these were ciphers. Because Chris Jimmel can't write. Bottom line, right, these were not characters. Again, uh, I didn't... I did, I, I, I did mention this video, but I did in my last video, which I recorded right before this, which was a review of Doctor Who magazine. I really recommend this book. Season th uh, season 13, Dr. Alex. It's uh, 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 basically a season of Capaldi. Uh, this is the second one he's done. They're both excellent. They really nailed Capaldi's voice. But the book is, is full of characters. All of them are characters. You know, with, with like, you know, three-dimensional uh, 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 wants and desires. And, and fragilities and, and positive traits and negative traits, right? None of none of these people who were stunning and brave could have any negative trait. And apparently, Mary Seacole, well, there's quite a lot to talk about there. Um, the other thing I'll talk about Nikolai Tesla, boring as hell, right? Well, yeah, once you can't, uh, uh, is it? Once you can't go on about, uh, uh, you know, the inhumanity of man to man or, or, or with them. It, they're just boring, okay? Boring, boring story. Byron, God, that was boring, that one. And Shelley, I mean, that what, the quadrilles? Really? Again, if you want a Byron story, I want to hear them about doing coke off each other's asses. You know, that's, that's what I want to hear. That's the sort of thing I'm expecting. 
Uh, uh, we're just telling people stories, and if people want to predict something onto that, that's up to them. You, you lying piece of shit! You desperately, desperately want everybody to project on that and go, oh, you're so stunning. You're so brave. Oh, you lying, lying piece of shit. Um... Some people have tried to project something onto that, of course. Uh, which, uh, oh no, some people, which Matt did, uh, what did Matt make about the newspaper headline? Doctor Woke and the like. People are entitled uh, to, uh, people are to not like anything, and it's not uh, the show or our vision of it. What? People are entitled to not like anything, right? And it's not like the show or our vision of it, um, or our version of it, he says, were things that uh, became factually warped in order to make a point. What? No, you did factually warp it to make a point. <laughs> I, I think that's the point. Uh, initially, that was frustrating. Okay, again, come on my channel, mate. Come on my channel and tell me what I'm manufacturing, what I'm making up. Uh, I think that after it, start, uh, it started to bounce off, the uh, option, uh, the, op the, op the opinion is fickle. So you take that with a pinch of salt. No! Take it with reality. You fucked up. You utter moron, right? Take, don't take that with a pinch of salt. You are useless. Uh, every doctor gets it. Nobody got it like you, mate, okay? I've been a fan all my freaking life. I'm over 50, right? I've been a fan all my life. I was around during the 80s. John Nathan Turner didn't get, didn't do as badly as you. I mean, like, at least at some point we liked John Nathan Turner. <laughs> like, oh, God. Um... I love Muffet's reaction to Russell D. Davis' announcement. Uh, it was coming back to oh, RTD must go. And then it's, yeah, you, it's all you, it's just a circle jerk, right? Every other doctor has a massive champion. You, you, again, dude, dude, that proves you wrong, right? This proves you wrong. Like, two million. You got two million watching it live. That's how much they hated it. Oh, man. Uh, as massive champ, yeah, but your champions are like the worst people in humanity, right? They were the absolute worst, but they absolutely are the worst people in humanity, and they always, always ended up being caught as sex pests. I mean, do you remember the, uh, you probably might not remember it, it was a Twitter group called Not My Doctor, or something like that. They existed to monitor the community, it literally existed, okay? I'm not, this is not an exaggeration. They existed to monitor the communications of other fans, like the Stasi. Right, and then highlight them that the and any wrong thing, and then hold them up again like a communist uh, a struggle session. Go, hey, 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 look at this man, look at this one. He thinks Jody's rating figures are bad. They are bad, you lying piece of the filth. Uh, uh, I think there's a huge effect in looking back. There's with a short distance of time. There's a huge effect in looking back. Yeah. Oh, really? You get a uh, big finish. I, you start you start your Jody Adventures. Start your Jody Adventures, right? Uh, 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 let's see how well they do. Um, I think when the story is written, Jody will be thought of quite widely with a huge affection. No, won't. And frankly, quite uh, and love, quite frankly. No. she's. It's not even she's going to be remembered at hatred. People aren't going to remember her at all. That's the thing. She, she's going to be erased from Doctor Who, right? It, it's going to be, we had, you know, all those Doctors and then Jody. Right, it's gonna. It, this era is gonna be cauterized. It's gone. It's not gonna be remembered with love because it, 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 it's, it, it was awful and it and it caused a mass migration or fandom a, a, away from Doctor Who. Oop, where'd it go? Uh, right, Frank. Oh, oh. How familiar is Matt with Thasmin? Well, I, I guess he must be very familiar with it, seeing as he knows it's going to happen, and it was written into the uh, the script. What's this bit? Uh, executive decisions. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a site? Uh, okay, fine. I'm reading that on my live stream as well. Okay, you just get the main article. Uh, uh, go back to the live stream to uh, 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 ca catch up on that. Um, the Thasmin, a sizable community. No, 
No, not a size that you lying piece of filth. No, not a sizable community of fans with a very passionate interest in Doctor Who and yes, becoming more than just good friends. I'm not a massive social media guy, but I do go on Twitter. Uh, um, I did go to the night of the Dalek broadcast to see the buzz, and then we were talking about it. He says, smiling. Yes, it was like, we, no, we were all vomiting in our own mouths. Again, I can't imagine anybody more disconnected to, oh, no, I can. Again, there's Joe Biden. I'm sorry. Right. I was going to say, I can't imagine anybody more disconnected to reality. And then there's Joe Biden and CNN and MSV. Yeah, no, okay, half the world more disconnected from reality. Uh, I didn't even know what it was, what it meant until suddenly it clicked and I was like, wow, you lying cunt. Oh my God, you're such a God. I couldn't live, do this. I could not lie in this way. It's unbelievable. Uh, I think since Russell bought the show back, the, uh, the commander story uh, have... Most companion stories have been love stories. No! No! <laughs> Donna, really? Okay. You had Rose, and that was a bit weird, right? The one off. Then you had Martha, who was mooning off the Doctor. That was a mistake, right? Then you had Donna. No, wasn't a love story whatsoever. And then you had uh, then you had um, Amy, who was just horny for anything, right? She wanted to shag uh, Matt Smith. Quite understandable. But she, Amy's looked like somebody who would... Well, it's very, very into being shagged by people when she's around Rory, right? Like, like I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if she's into like, you know, homemade porn that she's in. Uh, not in the character, not Karen Gillan. That as long as Rory films it, right? That's the sort of stuff I see her being into. Uh, um, but what a love story! It was a love story with Rory and Clara. No, uh, 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 Bill Potts. Uh, she might mention once or twice she's a lesbian, right? No. Uh, 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 very different sort of love story. Platonic best friends love. Uh, someone man to love. I'm the quite in love. Okay, fine. Uh, like with Martha, more than uh, where's on Doctor. It's been very, well, blah blah blah. Uh, but I was very pleased with the positive response to the scenes between Diaz and Dan, and Dan and the Doctor. I thought they were beautifully made by Mandip. Uh, Mandip was stunning. No, she was garbage, utter garbage. Right? It's oh God. What kind of bizarre alternate reality does this guy live in? Uh, given the 13th Doctor has already been told at the end of Flux that she's living on borrowed time. Yeah, uh, I kind of get the feeling she'll told that at the end of season 11, quite frankly. Um, uh, DWM can't help but worry uh, that hearts are going to be broken. Uh, uh, no, we're going to be e ecstatic, right? Absolutely ecstatic. So I don't understand. What was the point of, of misrepresenting... Um, I will say about half of your potential audience, uh, uh, potential uh, buyers of this magazine. Like, I know, what was your point in that? I, 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 do you think it was a good idea? Is this a sound business decision? I don't think this, was, this could be called a sound business decision, can you? No, I really don't. I don't. I think it's called uh, uh, virtue signaling nonsense, quite frankly. Um, it's the LCS Lewis thing, Sutherland, isn't it? Suggests Matt. In the way, the Doctor uh, is a bit like Lewis in in that you got you're too overeducated, right? You like, yeah. You, you, the good thing about Ralph D. Davis, he would bring analogies from Coronation Street and Star Wars, not from uh, C.S. Lewis. And, and again, I'm not being a snob about the, an anti snob, but guess about this. I'm saying maybe BBC should hire normal people, right? People not called peers, right? Maybe. I don't know. Um, uh, in a way, uh, I don't uh, engage with love uh, and the world. I protect myself, but ne uh, I've never loved. Uh, or by loving, I've ne I, I will never open myself to being brokenhearted because at the end of all love stories, uh, I think that's a constant thing with the doctor grappling with how uh, close to get with her companions. Oh, God. Uh, Obviously, the special bond was the ass because they spent so much time together. Oh, and they had sex a lot. Uh, they spent so much time together, uh, and uh, uh, who knows how it will end between them. Well, you do, you lying piece of filth. E.T.'s giving nothing away. But I enjoy, the, I enjoy watching the speculation. Oh, I'm enjoy watching the ratings, mate. Um, by raising Streatham <laughs> in South London, Matt's early interest, blah, 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 blah the bill... Skiers, Misfits, uh, first talk to was Adventure in Time and Space, incredible, uh, working with Logan Roy, I mean this, blah, 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 blah. 
Uh, still part of him, it says he's amazed uh, he got to walk through the doors of Tarzan and help steer uh, her on adventures. Uh, but DWM readers want to know that stepping inside uh, that impossible box it, uh, isn't as unlikely as you may think. It's not another world. Is it? No, I understand. You just film it, right? I understand it's not real. Uh, it's not another world. Is it? It's tangible and real, and you can enter that world and be part of it and help create something. How? It's just out there. It's attainable. Uh, I was a working class kid for Australia. I doubt that. Uh, who went to state schools. Okay, I, it, you sound like you went to university as well, right? Sounds like your brain was twisted in, in uni. Uh, and I, I, and I got to do it. Uh, yeah, you're a white man. I, well, I thought you didn't like white men in positions of power, right? I thought that was the whole point of your doctor. And there's no time frame on it either. I got this job quite late in my career. And it's been a privilege on it. It's, uh, it's a time I will never forget. Darling, darling. Uh, uh, I would say most people won't forget it. But that's not true. That's not true at all. Error is going to forget it because you made the absolute most forgettable Doctor Who of all time, right? Uh, uh, reviled and hated though it was, it's still, ultimately, we will look back at it and go, this is the most reviled and hated Doctor of all time. Let's just forget it, it, uh, it ever happened. I am looking forward to doing that. My name is Sheila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share and subscribe and ring the little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.